The sun sets off the coast of Washington State. Below these cold waters, darkness takes hold. Orange sea pens are just one of the several specialized creatures living in this stark environment. Each sea pen is a colony of individual animals called polyps. Every polyp serves a specialized role in support of the colony. The sea pens are not alone here. Hiding in wait is a creature with an acquired taste for sea pens. These toothpick-like structures are evidence of this. Calcareous remnants of a sea pen. Skeletons are what this predator leaves behind. The striped nudibranch. Its two rhinophores rise above the sand. These detect light and detect the smell of sea pens. Once stimulated, the striped nudibranch rises from the sand to hunt down its prey. As it approaches the sea pen, it hones in on the emanating chemical signals. The nudibranch combs the body of the pen with its sensitive underside, looking for a place to bite. Its preference, bite-sized clumps of polyps. The unrelenting nudibranch cuts away at the sea pen with its bony beak. With each penetrating bite, it pulls away fleshy morsels. Perhaps lured in by the scent of the wounded sea pen, other striped nudibranchs join the attack. Several hours later, the collapsed sea pen is almost entirely consumed. Made of calcium and protein, the inedible rachis makes eating this last batch of polyps difficult for this hungry nudibranch. Undeterred, it grabs hold of the rachis and debones the sea pen. Once full, most of the nudibranchs will travel a short distance away and settle back into the sand to digest their meal. Out on this sandy plain, the soft body of the striped nudibranch is vulnerable to attack, but somehow these slow-moving targets rarely fall victim to predation. Their secret can be found within the sea pens, for not only does the sea pen provide nourishment for the nudibranchs, it provides a defense. It's a cycle of reliance. Inside the sea pen, is a special chemical compound. With several internal modifications, the striped nudibranch is able to convert this consumed chemical into a toxin it then uses to ward off potential predators. To many creatures on the subtital sand flats, large predatory sea stars mean death. However, even this morning sun star is repelled by the striped nudibranch's presence. With a full gut and re-energized defenses, this striped nudibranch crawls off into the night to hide amongst the sand and the sea pens until its next attack, all the while unaware of the relationship fortifies its existence.